Well, hello, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. Jiu Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm back. I hope you guys are doing fantastic out there. In this video, we're going to talk about one of my favorite lights made by Olight, and that is the Arkfeld. This is actually a new version of the Arkfeld. Cool thing about the Arkfelds is they had two different models. They had one that had ultraviolet light with white light, and then they had another model that had a green laser with white light. Now this one is cool because you don't have to figure out which one you wanna carry for the day because this one does it all. It does ultraviolet light, it has a green laser, and it also has white light. And the cool thing about this, it'll let you use the white light while you're using the green laser too. So let's take this over to the bench and let's unbox it and find out all about this Artfeld Pro. I'm very excited about this light. It is fantastic. Let's hit the bench. Okay, let's take a closer look at this Artfeld Pro portable EDC flashlight with three light sources. You can get it in cool white or in neutral white, and it does come with a two-year warranty. So very cool, there is the QR code, in case there's anybody out there interested in that. And then on the back of the package, there is some information, feel free to pause your screen. And then of course, the specifications of the light. And then there is the packing list, as well as some Olight information. So let's go ahead and open this up. We're just gonna pull this little tab here straight off and the light will open from the top. We will pull this out just like a drawer. There's nothing left in that pot package, in that box. And now we can see the README card. It's basically telling us that we need to unlock the light, that we need to charge it, and not to disassemble the light. Underneath that card is some safety warnings and then there's a user manual. There's also an MCC1 charging cable. So you have USB-A to one amp charging at five volt. Then when we flip this over, this is the Arcfeld Pro. As you can see, it comes packaged very nice. So we're just going to open this up and let's get our first look at the Arkfeld Pro. Wow, that's a pretty looking light. Very nice looking flashlight. Right here is the stickers for the lasers. Right there is the business end. So you have the UV light, the laser, and then the white light there on the left. Nice dual direction pocket clip kind of a flat uh, design on the bottom. The older ones used to be round, so this is nice. You can magnetically charge this light. So right here you have your battery level indicator, 25, 50, 75, and 100%. You have a switch that lets you go from UV light on the left, laser in the middle, and white light on the right. So let's go ahead and start with the white light. This flashlight operates the exact same way as previous models, so if we want to get to the lowest setting, we'll just push and hold this button, and that'll get us into the moonlight mode. That is one lumen, so it's very dim. One lumen, and it'll last for 11 days. It puts out two meters of throw, and one on the candela. Cycling through the modes, we're just gonna push and hold. Now you're looking at low, this is 15 lumens for 55 hours. Not a bad amount of light there. 55 hours is 2.29 days. On this setting, you get 11 meters of throw and 31 on the candela. 
Now if I push and hold a little more, we're up to medium now. This is 100 lumens. This will last for 9 hours and 45 minutes. And on this medium setting, you get 29 meters of throw and 210 on the candela. So if I push and hold again, we're going to bump up to high. This is 420 lumens for 135 minutes. That's 2.25 hours. That'll give you 62 meters of throw and 971 on the candela. Then the light will step down to prevent the overheating. It'll go down to medium or 100 lumens and it'll stay there for an additional 12 minutes. Now I've already charged this light off camera before shooting this video. Now if we want to get to turbo, we can double press quickly, one, two, and now you can see 1300 lumens of turbo. That's going to last for four minutes before stepping down. It'll give us 102 meters of throw and 2608 on the candela. Now after that four minutes of turbo, it'll step down to high of 420 lumens and it'll stay there for 126 minutes. That's 2.1 hours of runtime. Now this light I can single press and it'll turn off and then again I can operate it just the same way I've operated previous models of these lights. The UI is identical. Now another thing that I want to talk about is when the light is on this light does have a three minute automatic shutoff and a nine minute automatic shutoff. And to get to that, it's exactly the same as before. When the light's on, we're gonna press, press and hold and we'll see the acknowledgement flash. Press, press and hold. You see two acknowledgement flashes, that means nine minutes. If I wanna repeat the process and get the three minutes, I do the same exact thing. There's one acknowledgement flash. Now that means that this light will automatically shut off in three minutes. So that's pretty cool. Now, if I turn the light off and I switch the dial to the middle, we are gonna push and turn on this green laser. So the green laser is fantastic. This is five nanometers in wavelength and this will last for 61 hours of runtime. That's 2.54 days. That is crazy. And then it'll kind of step down to 0.39 nanometers and on its wavelength. And then from there, it'll last an additional 174 hours. That's 7.25 days. That is fantastic. So if we want a single press, we'll turn the light off. And because we're on laser, we can come right back to it. Now, the cool thing about this light is they give you the option to do white light simultaneously with laser. So to do that, we're just gonna double press. Now you have a laser and white light, and then you can cycle through the modes. You see that laser still on. Cycle through the modes just like before, and you have the laser lit up too. So long press, you know, that's just pretty cool how, how you can do white light with the laser also. Now if we switch over to this setting, we will get to the UV light. And this is pretty impressive. This is 900 nanometers and this will last for five minutes. And then it'll step down to 560 nanometers and it'll stay there for 310 minutes. That's over five hours of runtime. So this light is pretty cool. Now you can't get to the white light from the UV. That is only from the laser just by double pressing and then push and hold to cycle through the modes of the white light with the laser if you want both of them. I don't know if you can see it, but the laser is on. Single press turns the light off and then again we can switch over just to white light and we can get to the moonlight mode. Again, one lumen for 11 days. Now if I push and turn the light off, this light does have a lockout mode, so I'll push and hold. We'll see moonlight, keep holding, and then moonlight goes away. And then if you look at the battery level indicator, it's red. That's telling us that the light is now in lockout mode. Now, that's pretty cool. To unlock it, it's the same as before. We're just going to push and hold until we see moonlight mode. And then again, from there, we can switch to the UV and the laser uh, according to whichever position we have the dial in. 
Now this light is IPX7 waterproof, so it can go underwater and it's impact resistant down to one meter. Now I don't know why they lost IPX8 and why they don't have one and a half meters. I don't know why, um, but it's still acceptable. Now if you look at the lens of the light, you're probably wondering, is this material here glass or is that plastic? This is plastic on the lens, that is not glass. Now the dimensions of the light, this is 120 millimeters long or 4.72 inches. It is 27 millimeters wide here, that's 1.06 inches, and it's 16 millimeters thick, that's 0.63 inches thick. It weighs 111 grams, or 3.92 ounces, and it operates on a 1500 milliamp hour lithium polymer battery. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the IPX7 waterproof rating. I prefer IPX8, but IPX7 still means that we can go underwater. It just won't let us do it for as long as IPX8 will. So it looks like it's doing just fine. Let's go ahead and cycle through the modes. Let's get on down to moonlight mode here. And as you can see, moonlight mode works. Let's go cycle up. There's low, there's medium, there's high. Now let's double press for that 1300 lumen turbo. One, two, there we go. And I forgot to tell you earlier, but this light also has a triple press to get to strobe. So strobe warning, let's try that. One, two, three. There is the strobe, very disorienting. And then when you single press, the light turns off. Let's go ahead and go to the laser. We'll check that. And as you can see, the laser's working just fine. Let's double press and get to some white light with the laser. Cycle through the modes. So that's pretty cool. Double press to turn it back to just laser. Single press turns it off. And again, you can see those four battery level indicators telling us that our battery is fully charged. So if we come on over to UV, we can push that and turn the UV light on. UV light is really good for looking for blood. It's very good for looking for urine. If you're in a motel room or something and you want to make sure that that motel room is clean, you can use the ultraviolet light to do that. One of my favorite things to use the UV light for is looking for scorpions out here in the southwest desert they they light up like a christmas tree you can see them so as you can see this light clearly passes the ipx7 waterproof rating with flying colors okay let's go ahead and take a look uh, right now the light is on moonlight mode and that is working pretty good let's push and hold there is low Looking off in the distance, even with low, you can still see some things. Push and hold, we'll bump up to medium. Medium looks really nice. Keep going, there is high. That's a lot of light, and then a double press gets us to turbo. Let's try that. Double press, there is the 1300 lumens of turbo. Now let's uh, take a look at the triple press to get to the strobe. Let's see what that looks like. There is the strobe. And then a single press will turn the light off. Another single press brings us back to high. And then of course, if we wanna look at the laser, there's the laser. Boy, that laser, uh, the video doesn't really pick it up very good, but man, that laser is fantastic. I can see everything with that laser. And then again, when I'm on laser, if I double press, I can get into the light settings with the laser. So I can push and hold and cycle through the modes. And as you can see, I'm on low there with the laser and I'm on low with the white light. Push and hold, there's like a medium with the white light and then the laser. And then there is the high with the uh, white light and then the laser. So that is really nice. I don't know if you can triple press and get a strobe with the laser. Let's, let's take a look and see if it'll do it does not look like it'll do it, but a double press will let us go back to only laser. Now I'm gonna switch it over to UV light. This is the ultraviolet light, and I don't know if the camera is gonna be picking this up or not, but there is my shirt, and there is my face. Look at my teeth, my hat. That is the ultraviolet light. 
Oh, it's kind of eerie looking, like a scary movie. <laughs> the teeth look funny, don't they? <laughs> this is cool for looking for scorpions and things like that. This light is very, very crazy. Look at the orange on my hat. It just lights up. And that's how, that's how those uh, scorpions look. But they look green when you see them uh, when you're using the ultraviolet light. So I try not to look directly into the ultraviolet light. Look at, I mean, even on my arm, my eyes look kind of weird. That ultraviolet light is crazy. So hopefully, folks, you enjoyed those night shots with the Arcfeld Pro. So my final thoughts on this Olight Arcfeld Pro, I think they hit a home run on this light. I really like it. You can still see from when I did the waterproof testing. This light is fantastic because now I don't have to reach for the UV arc field or make sure I'm carrying the one with the laser. Uh, this one does all three, so that is just absolutely fantastic. Folks, I want to say thank you for joining me today on this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're interested in this Arcfeld Pro, I'll put my affiliate link in the description box down below. And if you purchase anything there, you can use the coupon code of JUJITSU2000 for a discount as long as it's not on the X9R. And yeah, it helps me out when you guys use my affiliate link. I, I do get a kickback from Olight. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Have a beautiful day. We'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.